Since this is my first video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit complicated and special. So, this is my explanation to Einstein's theory of relativity. Okay, so this is how we, we're going to start. So, if I'm in a train, if I'm in a train and it's moving at 35 miles per hour, this is me. and you are right here observing me in the train, it will look to you as if I'm moving, because, well, I am moving, but to me, it will look like you're moving, because if I'm moving, then the vision, it, then the vision, it looks like you're moving backward, if I'm moving farther away from you. So, so this also moves us into the next part of it. So here, if we have a clock and the time measurement is a beam of light bouncing back and forth between two mirrors, then it would just have to go this way if it would, um, if it was standing still, but if it's moving, it has to go from here to here in one round because, look, it's right here, so it bounces off of here, but then it's moved to here in the time it takes for it to get here. And so it would go continuously go up and down, so it would have further to travel. And so this makes lot this makes time travels slower um, if you're moving as um, if you're moving. So um, this is the last part. So let's say um, if space is north and time is west so this is space and this is time so if the fastest you can go in through space is the speed of light so this direct line is the speed of light so um so if you go any faster than light it will go um if you go, it will go backward. Time will go backward because time is completely stopped for light. So there's no other st stopping point for it to go. So there's no further, closer it can get to this. So it has to go farther, but the other way, which would be back in time. Okay, that's the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Physics girl, bye.